Hey guys, Scott here with another macro beer. Another Blue Moon beer, aka Coors. This is Rounder, Belgian style pale, part of the Expressionist collection. A uh, very silly description, although it does say it's crafted with hibiscus and orange peel for a hint of spiciness and a touch of wheat for a smoother, rounder taste. Actually, the entire ingredients list is pretty interesting. I have it right here. For malts, pale, imported caramel, imported light caramel, white wheat, hops, just cascade, and like I said, orange peel and hibiscus. Who knows what they're using for yeast? Um, although I think it's ironic that they call it a pale ale, and that is most definitely not a pale ale. That's clearly an amber. Um, it had about a one finger head when I poured it. It's almost completely tepid. I mean, it's a good looking beer. Well, as far as color and clarity, but, you know, no, hardly any head and no carbonation. What the hell? It doesn't smell good. It smells, uh, it smells very old, which is weird because I know all these bottles, well, I don't know, but I'm inclined to believe that these bottles are all pretty fresh. This has an expiration date of May 19th on it, so, you know, I figure that's probably six months out, so this was probably bottled in, you know, mid-December, something like that. Um, and I got it at the supermarket. They don't let old beer sit around there, but, uh... Yeah, it has like this kind of caramel toffee scent, like a kind of like an Oktoberfest kind of aroma. There's nothing Belgian-y about it at all. Kind of a sweet scent, but it has like this kind of like cardboardy. It smells very oxidized, I guess. That's probably what, what I'm thinking of. All right, so let's get in here. Cheers. Well, it tastes better than it tastes better than it smells. I give it that. That's what she said. Um, and, and though it does taste as it smells, kind of caramel, toffee. It it, it drinks <laughs> like the other two beers. I mean, they all just like the tart and the um, the the farmhouse red or whatever that was supposed to be. They just drink like very generic amber ales, and that's what exactly what this tastes like. It's not terrible. You know, front it's, you know, fairly sweet, a little bit of toffee, a um, little bit of caramel, kind of like a, almost like a scorched, like, um, caramelized sugar type flavor in there. Um, nothing, like, particularly malty about it. Um, it's weird that the, the color is so dark, considering, they, well, I guess, the, the they, well, imported caramel, imported light caramel, too, you know, kind of darker malts, plus pale. I really don't know why they're calling this a pale ale, and especially because, like, I saw the bottle and I was like, "Why is this? You know, this is brown. You know, it's a brownish color. It's supposed to be a pale ale. When you think pale, you think like you know, Duval. This is you know, uh, uh, an amber. And you know what? I bet you they were going for on this. I bet you they were just trying to um, copy Amagang, um Rare Voss. That's probably one of the most popular, well-known, easily attainable Belgian ambers that you can get in the United States. You know, the first half is good, but the second half, a little astringent, little off flavors in there. Finishes very clean. There's still no Belgian yeast quality, no esters, nothing, no fruitiness. Um, you know, just kind of drinks like a very generic amber. Have you ever had like Bell's Amber? Kind of tastes like that, except not as good. Mouthfeel is, you know, a bit on the thicker side, but it's also... It's also completely tepid, not crisp at all. Although it does go down smooth. It's not refreshing. You know, it's weird because it's kind of like, you know, it's light-bodied as far as flavor. You know, like, flavor's there, 
but it's not like very intense. But you know, it's a drinkability. It's easy to drink. It's not particularly fun to drink. Now I'm really getting into it. Now it's starting to like dry out, I'm leaving kind of like a pasty, starchy aftertaste. It's not bad. I think I like the uh, the farmhouse red a little bit better. I mean, this to me. I mean, in all these, you know, Coors beers, they you know they taste like they taste like a very amateur homebrew. I mean, I've judged. I don't know. I can't even like six or seven homebrew competitions by now. So I've tasted a lot of, you know. A lot of homebrews, and a lot of them are not very good. Like they're, you know, totally amateurish. That's how these these Blue Moon ones kind of taste. So, anyways, let's rate it on rate beer. Aroma. Uh, again, I'm not a fan of the aroma. I'll give it a four. Appearance. Uh, I'd be tempted to give it a four on the color alone, but because there's no carbonation and the head didn't really stick around, I give it a three out of five on appearance. Taste. Taste is is really not that bad. There is something to like here, but there's also something to, you know, actively dislike too. I give it a five on taste, palate. Uh, you know, like I said, it's it's easy to drink. There's no challenge. I mean, for 5.8 ABV, it should have way more flavor than this, and it's also the mouth feels off. It should be, you know, I mean, if they're called, they put the word Belgian on the in the title, um, it should be way more effervescent than this. Uh, yeah, I give it a three on palate um, because of that. Overall, uh, twelve, maybe thirteen. Thirteen might be a little generous. I give it a twelve. It's a two point seven, which I think is like a two. Why don't I ever have these things ready to go when I'm shooting these reviews? Let's see. Two point seven is a three. Yeah. Uh, I would agree with that. I think this could be this beer could actually be all, all these blue moons. They could be not even just good. They could be great. In uh, I take this exact recipe and homebrew it, and it would be. Yeah, I bet you I could kick ass on it. So, yeah, unfortunately, only a three out of ten for the rounder. Terrible name. Terribly marketed beer. That is not a. Do you not, in what universe is this color pale? Well, that's the light, but... <laughs> Alright, so I'm rambling. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.